Ottawa just this week announced new measures to combat the pandemic, $50 million for things like farmers, fish harvesters, people in food production for their uh, temporary foreign workers so they have money so they can go into a two-week isolation period. But that's just really a start. Canada's farmers are sounding the alarm further about the threat they see to Canada's food supply and the Canadian Federation of Agriculture calling on Ottawa for help. Scott, you have more on that today. Uh, I do indeed, uh, Heather. The Canadian Federation of uh, Agriculture is saying that they're sounding the alarm. They don't want to panic Canadians, but they're saying it would be irresponsible of them not to do because they're seeing shortages as far as being able to get livestock to processing facilities and also a lot of farmers are saying can we even afford to plant this spring if we don't have temporary foreign workers because of travel restrictions so here's the Canadian Federation of uh, Agricultural President uh, this is Mary Robinson sounding the alarm and, and taking a petition directly to Ottawa saying government must ensure uh, that they are being uh, strategic with regards to domestic food and here she is in her own words Government must also ensure they are being strategic with regard to domestic food security. Canadian farmers feel we have a responsibility to tell Canadians what is at stake. We know people have many, many concerns. Worrying about access to healthy, nutritious food should not be one of them. So she represents about 200,000 farming families across Canada, so there's a lot of farmers there. And she says if nothing is done by Ottawa, they could see a reduction in the supply of food, whether it's meat processing, uh, whether it's vegetables and or could see higher prices. And so the things that they're calling for is one, labor shortage, help them get more labor onto the farms to, in order to help plant. Uh, also to, to plant or not to plant. A lot of farmers are saying, should they plant soybeans, for example, to, to, uh, to feed their, their animals and not necessary for human consumption. And also here, it, which, is, which is key for the, uh, the meat processing facilities, because we're seeing a few of these shutting down across Canada because of the COVID-19, is to help keep livestock on the farmer fields longer so they don't have a bottleneck as far as not being able to send them for processing. So a big concern from Canadian farmers this morning, Heather. Scott, thank you. We will continue to watch the economy with you today.